Thanks for staying with us. So the Honorable Speaker, uh, Honorable Bajadamila, was speaking concerning the Twitter ban and regulating social media. And he was saying very clearly that we must begin to discuss and uh, see the need to regulate social media because social media can be used for both good and evil. So according to him, everybody has a right to be protected. They will be swamped with fake news, hate speech. And even recently, the Ataka family has said, listen, all this different news coming out of our family member is getting um, overwhelming. And they've asked the Nigerian to please allow the police to investigate because different bloggers, different news are coming on social media. So the, our leaders are saying, maybe this is the right time to regulate social media such that everybody's rights are protected. I agree that um, they've abused the freedom to a large extent where one human being can have 20 accounts and human beings can have even up to 100 and make a story trend because they just want it to go viral. And they know that if 100 people tweet it or 100 people repost it, naturally it will just gather um, momentum. momentum like that. So we know that that should be checkmated. However, I have seen the policies that some countries have, have put in place to, you know, sort of like structure regulate. social media and regulate it. And it is tantamount to you saying what we have with NBC, where some things we cannot say. That we know we ha I want to say, but you cannot say it because it's on national television. Same thing about social media. Social media has provided a platform for people to finally express themselves. We're not in a military rule. For me, I do not think it's a gagging per se. And if you listen to the tone of the um, honorable speaker, He's asking that it should be regulated. So this is not exactly that, you know, total ban, like what we have now with the suspension. This, we're talking about social media going forward. And for me, I hope that it comes in this way, that we can have a physical offline place where you can get redressed, mm -hmm. where you can report where prosecution can happen. Because it's all fine to be anonymous on, uh, and online and say all these, you know, evil things that you can say and paint people black and sometimes cause people's death because people have committed suicide because you have put up a fake story about them and they are so ashamed to show their face in public, they take their own lives. There has to be a place where people like that and their families can go and get some form of redress. Then there's also a part of social media that I find, I, I, I find annoying. I can't even believe it. Why do you have a social media page and you don't have a personality you can attach to it? Exactly. Yes. So, that's, so that, that's the extent we need the regulations. Mm. So if you have a social media page like the Mr. Only Nigeria person, put your name, yes. your father's family name on it. Why? What yes. So we can yes. trust you. Because no. why? You have the why? If you call out my family and say that I killed my child and had three million in my account, I want to be able to find you, sue you, and get you arrested immediately. Yes. I don't want to go and dig through and some unauthorized ways to find you. If you want to you. put out news, do put out your chest. Put yes. your chest. Put your full chest. When I say when I say something on the show, when your full chest. If I say something on the show. Yeah. Somebody will say it's Nima who said it. Yeah. That's why you're putting it on your page to trend. Yeah. Put your name, your father's family name, your entire family compound on it. I want to find you. Yeah. The idea of social media is to provide a platform for people to express themselves. People. So I believe in the verification of people. I've seen some very irritating comments on my page, and I want to see who has the nerve to say this kind of thing. And of course, it's blocked, blocked, private, 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 nobody, no posts, zero posts, you know. So I understand the, that, that perspective that there are trolls and there are trolls and there are cyber bullying. So I feel we should deal with cyber bullying. If you post a comment that is false, you should be prosecuted. And I believe we have laws dealing with that part already. The area I have issues with is where a law is saying that the government's representative can report to this social media handle and say, this person, what this person said is wrong. And it's not like an algorithm that is co-developed by both parties. Like, uh, Nigeria co-developed an algorithm with, another, with um, whatever social media handle and say that any comments like this should be taken down. We will end up having China in our hands. So it's important that people are allowed to express themselves. What we need to do is build an institution that is able to regulate without that independent of government or parties or the administration in power. You do not want it to be determined by a particular political party or political appointee today and then uses it as a tool to which hunt political opponents. That's not what we're asking for. Have an independent institution that people can go, even government, where it feels that um, someone has written a fake news concerning a particular government policy or yeah. an appointee, can go there too and get redressed. Yeah. There have been lots of injustices yeah. that have happened. 
that without social media, we would have mm -hmm. not gotten justice. I do not disagree about the ability of social media to be an alternative means of news that helps people. What yeah, I'm saying is, means. what even what the, uh, the honorable speaker is saying is regulate. Yeah. <laughs> Meaning is that if I am putting out a story that somebody has just been raped, I have the story. If I, I am called to be a witness in court, I will not back down and say, ah, me a I will stand by that story. I am a willing witness. I will not at any point in time that because I have that story and I have the facts. And so I think this conversation of government regulating social media cannot be had with only government and government officials alone. Mm -hmm. You need to have um, st um, other stakeholders, people, youth representatives, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. people, societies. We need to come up with a white paper for how it should be regulated. That's the only way we would know that it's all inclusive and it has no agenda. Let me take this